definitely. And please tell us. <laughs> me? Yes, please. Um, a religion to me, I would say, is it gives like it structures my life. Mm -hmm. um, it, it gives a meaning to my life and a kind of connection to like a higher purpose. Okay. Um, and that's kind of what I found within Islam is that I feel like. Um, you have that kind of, oh, like, we have the concept of like, oh, the world, the life and afterlife, you mm -hmm. know, world and later. <laughs> okay. um, and so it's that balance. Um, and I think for me, again, the appeal of Islam is the idea of balance, where for me, like you were talking about religion versus science. I mm -hmm. don't look at it that way. <laughs> okay. I think that they go hand in hand. Um, uh. Or uh, destiny versus free will. Again, hand in hand. Like, I do believe that things mm -hmm. are predestined, but we are active participants in our destiny. Okay. Okay. So that's religion to me. I have not read up on other religions as much as I would want to. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say that I am I'm grateful that I had amazing parents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because um, very similar to Mr. Um, Kevin's uh, experience, my parents, when they were living in Egypt, mm -hmm. they they kind of practiced religion as part of the culture, like that's life. They didn't really think about it. Okay. Um, but when they came to Canada, that's when they became like more knowledgeable, and mm -hmm. it became like an active choice for them. Okay. And yeah. so they kind of passed on that element of it. And even though like they like we they, we were raised with religion. Um, I never felt like I was forced to do anything, okay. <laughs> but I, I didn't, I don't know, I wasn't a very curious child either, like it's not like I was like, oh, where is God and stuff, because, I don't know, maybe I'm just like really out there, I don't know, I wasn't thinking about that, but I did have a little mini rebellion phase where like, um, hmm. where my mom was teaching me to pray and I would like pretend to pray, don't tell me, I was. Um, so yeah, like pretend to pray, I'm like, oh, or like, because I always get annoyed, like, I want to go to my friend's house, and I was like, okay, go pray, and then go, I'm like, no, no, no. I just go to the friend's house. Is um, your mom with the prayer? Yeah, Everybody no, my mom has a thing with prayer. <laughs> Everything else we can talk about, but the prayer. Anyways, yeah. um, yeah, so I, I have learned about other religions through, like, other things, like studying history, okay. and, um, stuff like that, you know, watching But, stories, um, on a scale from one to ten, like, how would you say your knowledge about other religions is? I would say I know a lot about Catholicism okay. and, like, Protestantism, because I love that era of English history mm -hmm. with, like, King Henry VIII and, like, the whole changing of the church and everything. Yeah. yeah, so all of that, love that. Um, out of ten, how much? Out of ten, uh, well, on those particular sects, like, Protestantism and Catholicism, yeah, like, the, like the, seven. Seven, but the religion itself, like the Bible, your knowledge of the Bible. <laughs> Very little. Yeah, okay. It's based. On, it's not primary research, basically. So anything that I know would be related from history. Other through other sources. Yeah, okay. but I did. I never picked up a Bible. Okay. Right Thank you very much. We'll yeah. definitely be picking up on this again. And please. <laughs> I mean, it's open discussion. No judging. Camera. <laughs> <laughs>